and on security matters. Global mission leader, social justice and peace advocate, the Reverend Gideon Paramala has charged Christian and Islamic leaders not to be discouraged by government harassment, asking them to continue to speak the truth to power in the face of what he described as insincerity of government. Paramala, who is also the president and CEO of Gideon Paramala Peace Foundation, insisted that prophetic voices must never be sacrificed at the altar of political expediency. The cleric was responding to the attacks on the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto, Hassan Matthew Kuka, by the presidency, following the Archbishop's Christmas sermon, which centered on the unprecedented insecurity in the country. He condemned the cruel attack on Kuka by agents of government, pointing out that the real questions for Nigerians remains, should they be battling the COVID-19 pandemic, worried about their personal safety on the roads and the confines of their homes, or be worried about a president and his hangers-on who chose to go after them for wailing over their trivials and woes in a country which today is ranked among the most dangerous countries to live in the world and also the poverty capital of the world. He regretted that instead of listening and appreciating Bishop Coker and others for having the courage to tell them the truth, the president's spokespersons are crying wolf against Kuka. He lamented that the government needs not respond negatively to what Nigerians say, which they don't agree with, adding that governments do not always have the monopoly of being the only ones who know everything about Nigeria and how to fix it.